Hello, my name is Father Pat Tumulty, and I'm talking to you in front of group in St. Catherine's Dominican Church in Uri, and I hope to bring you a seasonal message. I remember one particular event associated with my Christmas. One of a special crew in a special church in a special town made by a special priest. The crib was in a Dominican church in Uri, my hometown. From the priest to maiden, Father Murphy O.P., I got my first ideas of what it would be like to be a priest and a Dominican. That crib was special because it was made out of love. It was also special because it contained moss and peat from the mountains of South Armagh and was surrounded by stuffed birds and animals. It was special too because of the electrically powered swan which wander away around a lake of frozen glass. It was a special crib for another reason. It attracted numerous children of all ages, shapes and sizes. Some were young, some were collecting attention. And their wide gazing eyes would betray the childlike wonder in their hearts as all contemplated the mystery of a woman who had a baby, the mystery of the young girl who had become a mother, whose baby son was called by a special name, Jesus Emmanuel. God in the midst of his people. Every year without fail, he would be there. The divine infant with sparkling eyes and smiling in his bed of hay. Surrounded by the little figures of Mary and Joseph and the shepherd. The memory of that crib can still evoke childish wonder in my adult's heart, can still bring a twinkle of joy to my grown-up eyes. This was and is Christmas for me, my special crib. The crib should be the center of your Christmas as well. Gifts are hollow echoes of reality. All the hustle and bustle means nothing unless we find time to kneel and pray and meditate upon a crib. It's mystery, the mystery of Emmanuel the mystery of God's Son, who became so out of love, out of very deep and personal love for every single human being ever born into this world. Present at the crib on Christmas morning is the whole world. Those who have died are there, linked with us in our act of adoration. 
the young are there with their hopes for the future and the old with their memories of the past. The blind learn to see there, the crippled learn to walk, the mute to speak, the weak to be strong. His love and presence are in the hearts of all who have the vision and the faith to recognize in him the saviour of the world and his presence in the hearts of all his brothers and sisters. Personal sin should not keep us away from the crib. We go there because we have sinned. Because one day this little child will grow up and tell the sinner, your sins are forgiven. Go away and do not sin again. The God whom he will reveal in himself will be the God of abundant goodness, unswerving kindness, and unlimited love. The world not will not change unless we assume responsibility for change. Let us enjoy Christmas. Let us enjoy the break, the leisure, and relaxation and gifts. But let us not forget that Christ is at the heart of Christmas and that the child in the crib is destined for the rise and fall of many in Uri, Mourn and Down as well as in Israel.